Hello and welcome to the launch of the latest mining data center I designed. I'm Carl from Wooden Data Center and today we're looking at a data center that is not wooden, not made from wood, but still can be made sustainably if you use uh, shipping containers that have already been in use. Um, let me go through the features of this data center and throughout the uh, the outer uh, environment and the inner uh, applications and that should help you just looking yeah support you in, in in your decision what to do with this in terms of modifying or uh, building and doing so um, so as you can see this is the base is a 40 foot ISO standard shipping container Usually sh uh, shipping containers are not ideal for data center applications, at least for traditional uh, server equipment, but they have their uses for mining and for uh, uh, OCP equipment. <coughs> As you can see, we have two inlets here for air on this side and the hot air after going through mining equipment is on the other side. On, on the back side, you can see here we have um, two redundant large fans that pull up the hot air and move the air through the data center. Obviously, this cooling most likely is working ideal when uh, the door is closed. So you have an interrupted airflow if you have the, the, uh, the door open. It won't filter the air. Uh, and that is, has, you know, uh, an effect on the mining equipment. As you can see here, we have a filter box on, on this, this part. Let me open the data center up for you so you can have a look inside. So, looking from it from here, you see that the air inlets are, have, uh, are, are filtering the air and then the air is moved onto the onto the mining rack which as you can see here this is an industrial industrial rack that has uh, five layers for IT equipment where you can place the miners and also then connect them to the energy the uh, main distribution here is a little bit oversized this can be this main distribution can be up for up to 800 kilowatts in, in terms of electricity. So um, you likely have a, a, a smaller application for this uh, if you only use 200 kilowatts. What's in, in in this application? What is important though is that there is you know a separation in cold aisle and hot aisle. Cold cold aisle is where you can access the miner are connecting the power and the data cable and the hot aisle basically you you rarely go and you, you cannot really access uh, from here. Important is that you see here these holes that uh, this is a an isolated uh, you know back that separates the cold and the hot aisle so that hot air is not moving forward back to this area and so you you get a better cooling effect in the winter time you need to have uh, the possibility to adjust this so that you can mix in warm air into the circle to reduce hu humidity in, in cold foggy uh, conditions and also if it's your temperature is really low that you move a lot of air inside to have temperatures above 15 degrees but this is uh, relatively easy done with little maintenance you can adjust for this with installing on the top you know flaps that make it easy to move the air or around this the fans are controlled via uh, temperature sensors so if the air moves too cold the fans would not suck out any further hot air and in cold conditions that automatically then transfers that you have a higher internal air movement for this. I have actually run this type of data centers for, for three years. This was my first data center built and um, 
this can be bought currently uh, from me. So hit me up if you need this.